What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to the Black Star YouTube channel. This is your boy, Jer. And there was a subject that I was wanting to talk about last week that I didn't get to actually talk about, and it has to do with finances. Now, I've been seeing a lot of people talk about finances, and there's a lot of things that deal with finances that a lot of that the black community does not know about. Now, for the people that are in their 40s and 50s, they're still making the same stupid mistakes that that they should know about or let alone they, they should at least know about financially. But what I've noticed is nobody's really talked about how finances how to how to um get get financially free this this is not this is paper that i don't know where it came from well, i don't know where the hell it came from but this is just this is empty paper i'm not no i ain't about to do that but finances everything we do revolves around money Including going on vacation, what we, what kind of car we drive, what we have, including this computer I, I've built my damn self. Yes, I've built computers. Coming soon, I'm going to post on, I'm going to try to see if I can figure out how to do a screenshot of my website. But yes, I'm going to start, I'm starting a um, computer building service under my LLC license, which is Black Star. So, any of you assholes wants to still Black Star is is got this LLC license written this up. I got my LLC license with that name. But yeah, L um. So, into the topic, finances. Mm. What we know about finances is people really don't, people really don't know much about how finances work. Now, you could be making twenty dollars an hour, like I am, at being at, at as a, as a manufact at a manufacturing job. But what you don't think about it is that twenty dollars you got to include health and benefits. You got to include taxes. So. You may be making around twenty, about fifteen hundred dollars every two weeks. Every time you get paid, realistically, you'll probably bring around eleven hundred dollars. Now, eleven hundred dollars ain't bad for two weeks, but that's only around twenty to hundred dollars a month. Depending on if you get paid two weeks, well, two times a month or three times a month, you know, by it, you know, it's that weird scale. But um. You have to be able to manage how you budget your money. Now, me, I've had a lot of, since last year, I've had a lot of issues dealing with credit cards and um, and debt. Now, I don't own anything to the IRS, luckily. I'm glad. But I have a lot of debt collectors calling me. Now, last year, I was good. My credit was good at the beginning of last year. COVID hit, lost my job, as you know. Bills fell behind. Now, this is just me getting to my story while I'm talking about this. Now, if I wouldn't have known what I do now, I wouldn't have got all them, I wouldn't have got all these all these damn credit cards. But moral of the story is don't get anything that you cannot afford. Now, um, Dealing with the finance part of it. Do not buy any vehicle. Do not buy any depleting assets or depreciating assets. So what I mean by that, I mean like a car or let's say like, yeah, like a car or a house in a very bad neighborhood or even a, um, even a, Financing your phone. Don't do it. Here's why. Especially with the phones. 
you have a new phone model coming out every year. December, around December, Jan around November, December, January, new phone every year. Samsung just released a the Note 20 last year. It's going to be the Note 20 something this year or <gasps> or something. And then I can't, and then especially with iPhone, iPhone's constantly coming out. Well, Apple's constantly coming out with new products every year, constantly. That's why our stock market is high. That's also why they keep on making money off of you. Because if you have an iPhone, let's just say you have an iPhone 10. iPhone 10, the only difference between the iPhone 10 and the iPhone 11, or the iPhone 12 and 13, is the back side of the camera. It's the back side. The cameras, the camera positioning looks different. They change up a little bit, a uh, little bit of aspects, it's a little bit newer hardware, but in reality, it's running the same hardware. Well, upgraded hardware and also upgraded um, upgrade a lot of stuff upgraded. So, when you buy, let's say, I mean, I got the Note Ten. My phone will cost around eleven hundred dollars a month. Well, eleven hundred dollars not a month. Eleven hundred dollars base pay uh price, because I got the Imperial model. I got the whole. I got the the top model with the most uh with the most memory. So I don't have to keep buying a new phone every time I am um, every two years. So my phone costs eleven hundred dollars. Now with Sam. Now with Samsung, if you pay off your phone within a year or you buy the phone outright you can literally get money back you can get around half the price of what you pay for the phone so you can get a new phone and all you gotta do is pay five hundred dollars so basically constantly keep that going keeps that going you're gonna pay around five six hundred dollars for every for every phone you have every uh, every phone you trade in you only gotta pay six hundred or five six hundred maybe even seven hundred dollars every time you get your Every time we get a new up, a new upgrade, now that's if you sell back to Sam. That's if you sell to Samsung. Samsung's gonna recycle that phone and make a new model. Now, that's fine and then, but that's not gonna be a majority hit to your credit. Now, vehicles, and here's what a lot of people. This is this is where a lot of brothers and sisters, and a lot of other people make mistakes. When you go to the car, when you go to a car dealership, you see these brand new cars. And let's say, let's let's go to the hottest thing right now. Dodge Charger, Hellcat, wide body. Or even the Dodge Ram 2500, which is what I want. Those cars easily can run you around $90,000. Options. Now, 30% is going to get taken off of that vehicle as soon as you drive off the lot. Now, with the chargers, since there's so many of those chargers, you drive off the lot, that's around 20000 right down the drain. Now, say for instance, you sign a, le uh, sign a, fin uh, sign, uh, sign a financing deal. So, you finance through the bank. The bank knows that that car is going to depreciate. Now, once you drive that car off a lot, that's 20-30% of that car getting getting hit. But there's an upside. It's a brand new car, so nobody's owned it. It's right off the right off the assembly line. Yes, I understand that. That's very tempting. But the problem is you run and you run into a problem where you have to finance that car and then you're going to owe the bank money for financing that vehicle and then they're going to charge you interest on that on that loan so say for instance you have to what you call it let me just cover this say for instance you have to cover so say for instance you have to do your loan like when you do your loan they're going to charge the salesman is going to get some money off of that off of that loan and then also the dealership is going to get something off of that loan. So basically, with the dealer mock-ups, let's say you got a fully loaded Dodge Charger, Hellcat, 
uh, wide body. Let's say for just you got a full on, you got you got it to where it costs around eighty thousand dollars. Dealership's gonna mark that car up about probably around probably around ten thousand dollars to get off, off the top. So that's gonna make it around ninety. Now if they're now if they're limited product now if they were limited production they're gonna charge you around forty thousand. Same thing they did with the Mustang, uh, well, with the Shelby GT500, the new one, and they also did that with the C8. C8 was originally supposed to cost around twenty, no, sixty thousand dollars. You can use; they still got those cars for around a hundred thousand dollars. Now, Dodge Demon, another <laughs> good example. Dodge Demon, which is a modified Dodge Challenger, which they are very beautiful. Those cars was originally supposed to be around seventy, no. Eighty, seventy, eighty thousand dollars. Those cars went up to one hundred and forty thousand because they're a limited production car. Supply and demand. People get it right. Now, with that being said, if you get a higher end model, yes, it's going to hold retain some of its value. But the problem is, you're still going to get hit with depreciation. So. What I say do is, I say, if you do want to go get a new car, I say build a business first. That way you can buy that, you can write that car off as a business, as a business expense. So say for instance, you want, so say for instance, you want to Dodge Ram. The, me particularly, I want a Ram. Yes, I talk about it a lot. I want a Ram. Dodge Ram, 2500, mega cap, limited. Well, the Cummins diesel, 6.7 Cummins, 4x4. Yes, I'm in love with those trucks, and those trucks are very beautiful, so screw off. But anywho, um, yes, you get that truck. I can easily write that off as a business fit. Put my uh, put my business logo and number on that, car, on that truck, and I can drive that truck around as a daily driver while also making money on that truck. Most likely, yeah. But I can't. So that's a good financial decision, a good business decision for me. Plus, I don't have to pay for a car payment. I can buy the truck. Well, I could do a car payment, but if I had money, just buy, just rather buy it off. Now, if you don't want to build your own bit, now if you don't want to write it off as business expense, like me, I wouldn't do that because due to the fact that I actually want to own that truck i don't want to be signed into my business i would buy it myself yeah i look so but yes i would buy it my damn self so what i say do is get your business get your get a bit of build a business that way you can have extra income coming in that way you don't have to worry about a nine to five and also have multiple strands of income now I get it. Most people have only one form of income. That's their job. And they're nine to five, six to seven, all that crap. The same thing I'm doing right now, which is what I'm working hard towards. And you know, I'm also doing this channel so I can actually pull give the information out to you guys. Build multiple forms of income. That way you don't have to worry. So safe as you get laid off, you don't have you don't have to worry about bills. Your bills will still are will bills will. Still will still be covered. Those bills will still be covered and then you don't have to worry about worry about when the next check's coming in or when a stimulus check is coming in. See what what happened what happened at the beginning of the what happened last year and this year was people started to see that when something drastic hits the uh, hits it kind of puts you at a disadvantage, especially if you don't have a form of a former income that's reliable especially with a job a lot millions of people got laid off last year I was one of them but I also had unemployment for a limited amount of time so I was semi lucky but still I didn't like being at home not not working I'm used to working I work two I work two jobs before I started my job now so I'm used to working I was working since I was 16 the trade but I was building some but now that if I was if I was wiser when I was 18 I'm only four years I'm only 22 so 
for that time. But what I'm trying to get you to understand is the way that the world is changing, we need to be more, especially as black men, we need to be more cautious and be more driven to what we want to do instead of playing around in the streets. That's that's just me saying that as a as a brother, as a brother, we have to we have to build something with ourselves. We have to actually go out here and work hard for what we want to do. Because things are not going to be given to us. We don't have that luxury. We have to go out here and actually prove ourselves that we are worth something because you got a lot of these pookies and ray rays out here fucking around and making us all look bad. So so all my educated brothers. Go out here and actually build something with yourselves. And stop worrying, stop chasing, stop chasing ass. Actually go out here and build something. Now if you have a girlfriend and said girlfriend supports you and loves you, stay with her. But also but also be willing to push your own self further in life so that you don't have to ever worry about money. So that you won't be in some of the predicaments that the generations before us are in now. So, again, to all my brothers, go out here and do something with yourselves and start networking. Me, I'm having, I'm trying to network myself. I don't really know how to do it because I don't, well, I had to know how to do it. It's basically talking to people. But I got to find the right people for from the circle that I want. I have to find the right people due to the fact that I have a lot of stuff that I want to actually do with myself. So me, I want to innovate in technology and I also want to build, um, build the city for all of us, especially for technology. And also, I want to help the black community a lot more than what I'm, what I'm currently doing due to the fact that I've always been somebody that's always cared about my community. So, men, stop chasing around, stop chasing that, uh, stop chasing tail, actually go out here and do something with yourself and actually stop having all these damn kids because, and if, because it ain't gonna make you yourself to look better. Now, if you have kids, you can still do it, it's gonna just be a little bit harder. I don't under, I don't know because I don't have the kids, so, at least not yet. So, guys, do what you got to do and actually build yourself up and build something with yourself because this world ain't going to hand us nothing and also nobody really gives a damn about what happens to us. When we try to explain stuff to people, they don't really get it. So, just do you, build yourself up, and fight what you want because nobody ain't going to have a ticket for just free. But guys, this is Jared from Black Star Podcast, and also, and please, I'm gonna drop the, the link in the description. I know I said I was gonna do it last time, and I didn't, so please bear with me. Um, so guys, please, um, just do do you and actually be successful with yourself. But I will see you on the uh, I'll see you on the flip side. And guys, nobody's gonna handle you nothing. So I'll see you on the flip side. And guys, thank you for watching. Later, y'all.